stripes crossing over another with vertical stripes, and we can see the vertical ones plainly through the horizontal ones, indicating, of course, that they, uh, they do cross one another, but they're translucent. Uh, the light does pass through them. Uh, here's an interesting case of a tube where a boulder has come in and smashed it. And what happens when the, uh, when the tube breaks? Well, we see that the white bands are very, uh, very pointed and spindly, may possibly, uh, you know, giving the impression of sharp and needle-like. And um, this is lying flat on the ground. And there are exactly two of these for every one of these, because uh, since it's lying flat on the ground, you get the, uh, the underside as well as the top side uh, that's uh, visible to the eye. So uh, when you break a tube and flatten it on the ground, that's what it looks like. And the same thing has happened down here. This is a flattened portion of the tube uh, from this rock. But this is an intact portion. And there you see the transition between the two. Um, we see that in many of these ca in any cases, the tubes have right angle junctions and uh, network. And uh, here's a case where there's some sort of a terminus where many tubes from different directions come together. Um, we don't know uh, what the glassy tubes are, but we certainly would like to know more. This is an artist's concept, anything with coloration added uh, to these uh, uh, images from Mars Global Surveyor has to be an artist's concept.